Hello, welcome to the War Rogers News Channel. Thank you for watching. All right, let's go and spectate the Little Cup League number one. Draco vs. Epic Verde. This is the first time where I've commentated on a Little League tournament, so I'm going to hope for the best. Uh, Draco vs. Epic Verde. We will be right back on that note. All right, so we are at turn number one. Draco vs. Epic Verde. So I'm going to assume that Anoroth, uh, Anoroth, uh, Anoroth is going to switch out. Now, Chin Chow could do a surf, but I probably doubt it. All right. Guess he's going to do the surf there. I was guessing that there might be a Water Absorb Pokemon coming in, which is why I doubted it, but I guess, I guess uh, Draco was, per was perfectly fine doing the Surf there, uh, taking a risk on it. Alright, so Luleep is going to do a Giga Drain. It is going to prove fatal, and Chin Chow is going to faint. Wow, this match is being pretty intense pretty quickly. Like I said, this is the first time I've filmed a, a Little Cup tournament. I don't remember recording the Little Cup tournament. So, this is pretty exciting. This almost brings me back to uh, Pokemon Stadium. The, um, uh, I think it's, I don't think it's a Pika Cup. I think it's, I think it's called Little Cup, yeah. I think it's called Little Cup. Um, Anyways, and it's Pokemon just like this, you know, like uh, uh, low-leveled Pokemon, bottom evolution Pokemon battling battling each other. So, yeah, in a sense, this tournament is almost like a, a flashback of that, that experience of mine. Anyways, so enough of me. Let's go ahead and let's go and commentate on the tournament itself. So. So far, I'm going to get the sense that that, our, that, that Aaron is either going to do a uh, Metal Claw or an Earthquake. Either one of those two. Epic Verde is probably going to switch out, predicting a, metal, a potential meg, uh, Metal Claw. Alright, there's the coughing. Ooh, the Iron Tail. How come all these Pokemon have Stratus Berries? <laughs> I mean, it just seems like some Pokemon just don't like to carry leftovers, so... You know, there's the Iron Tail. Quickly proves fatal, just like that. Uh, I mean, wow. Coughing is out. So there's... Wilmer. Wilmer has respective bulk on it, so, you know, and not only that, but also Draco's uh, Chinchow has perished, so that means that that, um, that the Wilmer doesn't really have to worry about stab. So Staryu is going to go for the Thunderbolt instant critical hit, super effective, which, which instantly shuts the lights out on Wilmer. All right, so Abra. Now, from the Pokemon Stadium games, I remember Abra being really OP in uh, Little Cup. So, can can Star you outspeed it? We're about to find out. Well, actually, we can find out right now if we look into the Pokedex. Let's see, Abra. Star you's gonna switch out. Speed for Abra is 90. And what is the speed on Staryu? Staryu, sorry. So signal beam is neutral damage. So ni base 90 speed on Abra. And Staryu's base speed is 85. So Abra is faster. There's the tri attack, which is not going to be very effective. Lily 
is able to kind of wall off Porygon 2, or Porygon 2, Porygon's um, try attack. So there we go. But the Toxic, though, that's going to kind of wall off Lilip a little bit. Now, if I had to guess, uh, Porygon 2 might switch into Argon. Uh, not Argon, sorry, uh, Aaron. Uh, because of the, uh, the steel typing. Or just do a psychic. And that's why uh, Porygon 2 should have switched into, uh, into Aaron because of the toxic. Since that is technically a staller, I think it would have been really crucial for uh, uh, for Drago to switch. But since he didn't switch, then uh, uh, he's going to have to suffer with Porygon being poisoned. Now, Abra is a pretty fast Pokemon, but Porygon needs to live. I mean, it's like one of the only walls that can really stand Abra. There's Anorth. All right. So I'm going to predict that Porygon 2 is probably going to switch into... Uh, um, maybe he might not switch. Maybe, I was thinking Staryu, but it'd be way, way too risky. But uh, is there anything that, that Draco has that can kind of wall off? Or not really wall off, but, but can, can deal damage to... Uh, Anorth. Alright, so Porygon 2 is going to switch into uh, Rhyhorn. And there's the Rock Slide. Now, Rhyhorn does have that four times weakness to water and grass, so Rhyhorn has to be a little careful. Now, I don't know what this Pokemon is, but uh, for, for Rhyhorn's sake, Rhyhorn has to hope that it's not a water Pokemon or a grass Pokemon. All right, well, Ghastly, okay. So Rhyhorn's going to go immediately for the Rock Blast and instantly wipes Ghastly out. So there's only two Pokemon left, Abra and Anorth. Now, I'm going to think that Abra is going to come in and then Abra is probably going to do a Psychic because Rhyhorn's uh, special defense is not very, um, uh, how should I put it, not very strong. But there's the Brick Break, which does do a super effective to Rhyhorn. I'm quite surprised that that took out Rhyhorn, but okay. Um, I mean, Rhyhorn's defenses are... Let's see. Rhyhorn... Its defenses... It's 95. That's that's pretty surprising that don't that an Anorth would take it out. Unless Anorth's attack is really high. Um, attack is 95. Okay, I guess I can kind of see where, where Brick Break can knock out. Um... So Staryu is going to go instantly for the Surf here. Now, Staryu has to play really carefully because Staryu has to be there to knock out Anorth. And if Staryu is knocked out, then that means there, there is no, uh, no speed record, is what I call it. A speed record, you know? Just, so Staryu is a really fast... Let's Sweeper, there we go. That that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so Amber is going to switch into Anorth. Porygon two is going to do a try attack, not very effective, but Porygon two is going to struggle with the poison. Now Abra is going to be a bit of a problem. You see, Star, you can knock out Anorth, no problem. But Abra, as as we've seen in the Pokedex, is five speed base points ahead of Staryu. 
or base stat, sorry. So, Abra has a speed advantage. Alright, who's faster, Draco or Epic Verde? Alright. And that determined the match. GG. Congratulations to Draco. You've moved on to the final match after turn number 20. So the finals match, G Jason vs. Drico. Alright, we are here. Turn number one, final match. Uh, Jason vs. Drico. I am sorry if I butchered either one of your names. I apologize. So, on to the match. Diglett has this amazing ability known as Arena Trap, which means that, that, that Carvana cannot switch unless unless Diglett switches out. But, but as of right now, Carvana is forced to kind of reveal an attack. So I'm going to predict that, that Diglett is going to switch, and I'm sorry if the room echoes over here. Uh, there's a lot of noise upstairs, so... Uh, I'm down here in a in a quiet room, uh, being surrounded by my echoes. Anyways, um, so so Diglett is going to oh, Diglett is yeah. I don't see Diglett surviving this. All right, so <laughs> the reign of Diglett is over. Now, who is next? Wow, that got off to a rough start. So, what's going to happen next? I'm going to assume that 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 some sort of uh, Pokemon that uh, that can effectively hit Carvana is going to come out next, or a Pokemon that can at least wall it. Now, since I don't have a lot of experience, little cup. I can't really tell you what what the detail or sorry what the choices could entail. I wouldn't say Tusklops would be a, the best choice because Carvana. Um, well, I don't know. That's, does does uh, does Carvana have access to? I guess it doesn't have access to Bite. Do, does it? Carvana. All right. See the moves. Yes, it does have access to bite, which means that for Duskull, uh, you're going to have to be extremely wounded. Now, I kind of understand why why, why Duskull is here. Duskull is here so, say, so that we can uh, so say he can pull off a uh, a Will o Wisp, possibly. Right? Yes, I was correct. I kind of knew that a Will o Wisp was coming. All right. So, so Duskull is going to do a protect. Man, it's just Dus Duskull is just as annoying as its fully evolved, uh, fully evolved counterpart, uh, Dusclops. Think about Dusclops. It's, uh, uh, people don't really use and know you that much anymore. Uh, back then, <laughs> uh, Dusclops used to be the Pokemon that people would run to wall um anyways i'm getting a little sidetracked so so the waterfall is gonna hit and dust skull is gonna is gonna flinch here i think that dust clops is gonna or dust clops dust skull is going to do a protect here predicting a uh, predicting a a waterfall now will caravana switch I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I just asked that question just in time. We'll, we'll Carvana switch and then BAM! It immediately switched out. Alright, so, so Duskull's going to do a protect there. Um, now, I think I think Dragonair, or not Dragonair, sorry, uh, Dratini has a special ability known as a, a Shed Skin. I, I could be wrong. Which means that if Dratini gets paralyzed or poisoned or frozen or some sort of status ailment. Uh, Dratini can naturally cure itself. All right, so wow, that 
that that return was a really strong return and I'm going to assume that 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 this Dodrio also has uh, pursuit on it maybe I'm wrong <laughs> but uh, I think it might have pursuit actually let's see the text uh, where is it do right here let's see what moves it has so okay so it, it, maybe it has does it have access to to pursuit let's see as an egg move I know it has access to knockoff I guess it doesn't have access to, to pursuit as an egg move which means that it cannot learn uh, pursuit at an early level all right so Ghastly is gonna, is gonna come in and uh, um, Lil Leap is gonna come in. Thunder Wave is going to do a paralysis there. Um, you know, Porygon 2... Um, Porygon 2 has a myriad of options. Porygon 2 can do an Ice Beam like it just did, or it can switch into something. Uh, or it can switch into uh, Dodrio and, and do uh, Low Kick. Because I remember in the Pokedex, uh, it told me that that Dodrio had access to Low Kick. If I can get the results here, right here, Do Dodrio can can have access to Low Kick. So there we go. I think I'm pretty much uh, giving future uh, future contestants uh, a bit of some uh, uh, pointers here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's the Aaron. Aaron um, I keep wanting to say Argon. Aaron, there we go. Um, I just remembered the the Pokemon Stadium version of this. It's called the Petite Ball, or Petite Cup. Petite Cup, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. It's it's called the Petite Cup. Look up Petit Cup for Pokemon Stadium. This, <laughs> I mean, this this official reminds me of of the Petit Cup. All right, so Porygon fainted. All right. Uh. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if Dodrio has a uh, low kick or a uh, 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 Dudo, I think is the name of it. Man, <laughs> I'm mispronouncing the two-headed bird. Uh, I keep wanting to say the three-headed bird, but it's the two-headed bird. Um, uh, so I think Jewish uh, son is probably thinking. Should I should I go into Do, uh, Dodrio with with the ability Sturdy? Now, Chin Chao is going to take an enormous risk here because Aaron has the neat ability called Sturdy, which means if if Chin Chao does a Surf, then Aaron can just do an Earthquake and you know knock it out. I personally don't think that. That that Chin Chao is really the best option, considering the fact that there's still a Carvana left in the match, and plus we don't even know what this Pokemon is, so it could be some some uh, like so some Fire type Pokemon or something. Could be Magby or something, and Chin Chao would faint, and what what would uh, what would Chin Chao have? So there's the burn. Um. Like I said, that was an enormous risk that 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 Ju Jusun has taken. All right, so Destiny Bond, which means that that Chin Chao is going to die. All right, so who is next? Probably going to say either the unknown Pokemon or Do or Dodrio or Dudo. All right, Houndor. 
Ghastly. Now, is Houndor going to do a flamethrower? We don't know. Oh, wow. Barely survived the, the sludge bomb, but the crunch does prove fatal. Wow. Whew. That was pretty intense. Now, it all relies on Dodrio. Or Doduo. It really depends on, on, on Doduo. And I think that Doduo won't be able to pull it off. I, I really don't... I mean, <laughs> um, there's a knockoff, but I still don't see Doduo uh, really having the, the potential to, uh, to do it. So there we go. Um, Dricko has won the match. Congratulations. And this is the War Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment or subscribe to my channel, like or dislike the content that you see here. And this is the War Rogers News Channel, signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased, War Rogers News. And I signed off a little early. <laughs> this is War Rogers News Channel, signing off.